Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to share with you a card that actually um, I've modified just slightly from one that I received at Founder Circle from Joe Golden, Colorado Springs. And I just thought the colors she used were absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to start just with a piece of um, two and a half by four and a quarter inch uh, Whisper White. I'm going to stamp snowflakes from Serene Snowflake. So if you are coming to my Serene Snowflake class, this is one of the cards we'll be making. So again, that was done in the um, bashful blue. I have to apologize, my son got a hold of my ink pad and I forgot that that um, was coming and flying out. But not that it matters, it's fixed. Um, this is gonna be the uh, rich razzleberry. So I'm gonna use the larger snowflake from Strain Snowflakes and just stamp those on. Okay, and I'll just do maybe a little one here off to the side, just a little piece coming on. And then the last, snowflakes I'm going to use are actually the smaller ones and I'm going to use the pale plum ink and I'm just going to actually you know have these so they overlap and then what I want to do and you could have used shimmer paper for this but I'm going to use what I've been showing lately which is that shimmer paint um, on top of this but I'm not going to do it just yet the greeting I've got is the level 2 hostess set it says very um, a merry little Christmas to you and I'm going to just stamp a couple of those pale plum snowflakes on there so it all ties together my next step is going to be to spray these again shimmer paint and this time I've got the um, whisper white or that's no, not called whisper white but the white shimmer paint and again I'm going to spray it from about 12 inches up and it's okay that my ink is on there get lots of glitter and I'm going to do my greeting as well and then I'm just going to heat set that so just give me one sec see in the um, camera the shimmer there that's on this. It's sometimes hard to sketch on tape or um, using my camera but they're nice and sparkly. And now what we're going to do for the card is I've got my standard cardstock here and I'm going to actually have an inner liner. So I've got a piece of the Rich Razzleberry which is four and a quarter by five and a half and then I'm just going to close, I call it the lid, the top of my card over top of that and it's in pale plum and I did that just because I wanted the smallest little border here of the um, rich razzleberry showing okay and I'm just going to now attach my whisper white onto I've got a layer here it's um, bashful blue and the rich razzleberry so it's two and three quarter inches wide by four and a quarter the bashful blue and the rich razzleberry is the um, is three inches and then I've got a piece of the Organza Stampin' Up! Ribbon. I'm just going to tie that on, give it a nice little knot. So in case, actually I've been asked, so here let me show you how I do my knots. Right over left, the right one goes down, and then I'm going to go left over right. It pokes through and it wants to naturally pull side to side. So I've got myself my little knot. You could always do a bow if you'd rather. I'm just going to cut off my ends here using my ribbon scissors. And I'm going to put that on my card front. Again, just use some snail here. I like to go over top of the ribbon because it'll also help hold it in place uh, once your card's kind of all together. Okay. And I'm going to stick that on my card front here. Just make sure I'm happy with how much space I've got left. Bring it down just a wee little bit. Okay. And then my last step is going to be just to put my greeting on, which was just punched out with the wide oval punch. And we'll stick that down here on our card. So very quick and simple, sparkly. I just love the color combination that she used on her swap. And I hope you like it. So I will see you again very soon.